in this video we are going to discuss the concept of limiting reagent now limiting reagent is an important concept let us say I have a reaction simple reaction H2 plus O2 and this gives you H2O so this is a simple reaction now if you balance this reaction multiply by this side 2 so you have 2 H2O now you multiply by 2 and check whether this reaction is balanced or not now you see this reaction is balanced hydrogen this side 4 this side also I have 4 hydrogen this side I have 2 oxygen and this side I have 2 oxygen so this is a balanced equation now let us say I do a experiment if I take let us say 1 mole of hydrogen and 2 mole of oxygen how many of H2O will be formed now you see 2 mole of hydrogen reacts with 1 mole of oxygen and gives 2 mole of H2O so the balance equation has meaning we can read this meaning something like this 2 mole of hydrogen reacts with 1 mole of oxygen and this finally gives you 2 mole of water H2O now I have 1 mole of hydrogen so 2 mole react with 1 mole so 1 mole will react with 0.5 mole are you getting or not so 1 mole will react with 0.5 mole of oxygen so basically if you see if all hydrogen has reacted only 0.5 mole of oxygen has reacted so let us try to see from this equation I can write 2 mole of hydrogen reacts with 1 mole of oxygen so I can write 1 mole of hydrogen will react with half mole of oxygen and now how many mole of oxygen I have I have 2 mole of oxygen so this means some of the oxygen will be left only 1 by 2 mole that is half mole of oxygen will react so now I can say only half mole of oxygen will react but how many mole of oxygen I have I have two mole of oxygen so left oxygen left oxygen I will have 2 minus 1 by 2 that is 3 by 2 that is 1.5 mole of oxygen that will be left and what is the hydrogen that is used that is 1 mole of hydrogen that is totally used up so now I can say hydrogen is S2 is totally used up totally used during reaction so we can say hydrogen is totally reacted but oxygen is not totally reacted so which is limiting this means which is that which is the substance that either the hydrogen or oxygen that is the limiting the product that is the deciding the product it is the hydrogen that is deciding the product because it it is used up first so now I can say hydrogen in this case is a limiting reagent so in this case hydrogen is basically limiting reagent and how many mole of product will be formed that is 2 mole of hydrogen gives you 2 mole of water so 1 mole of hydrogen because all of the hydrogen has been used 1 mole of hydrogen will give you 1 mole of water so the product formed in this case is 1 mole important point we have can be fine can be use this mole to find product we cannot do this 1 mole of oxygen gives you 2 mole of H2O so one can think that 2 mole of oxygen will give 2 into 2 that is 4 mole of H2O basically that will be wrong 
so in case of limiting reagent problem the product is decided by the limiting reagent so we have an important rule here that is the in case of limiting reagent problem product is decided by by the limiting reagent Now the problem is how we will find in any given problem that this is a limiting reagent problem or not. Very simple. If we have been given more than one reactant, then this is a problem of limiting reagent. Let us say I have a hypothetical reaction A plus 2B. This gives you C. <laughs> and now if I say one mole of A is taken how many mole of C will be formed. So 1 mole of A gives 1 mole of C. So I will say the product C formed is 1 mole. So this is not a problem of limiting reagent. So this is not a problem of so this is a direct problem. So this is a not a problem of limiting reagent. But now let us say if I have the same problem 1A plus 2B and this gives you C but now if I give you 1 mole of A and 3 mole of B now both is given A is also given B is also given so now this is a problem of limiting reagent so this is a problem of limiting reagent so whenever you have more than one reactant is given then this is a problem of limiting reagent <laughs> now how we will find which is the limiting reagent either A is limiting reagent or either B is limiting reagent so how to find so how to find which is limiting reagent and the rule is very simple what you do from both you determine the product you can determine the product using mole of A you can also determine the product using mole of B so let us find find product first we will use mole of A so this means one mole of A gives one mole of C so I have one mole of A so product C that will be 1 mole of C now calculate using B <laughs> using mole of B if I do this 2 mole of B gives 1 mole of C so 1 mole of B will give 1 by 2 mole of C but I have 3 mole so this will give 3 by 2 that is 1.5 mole of C now the rule is very simple the one that will give lesser amount of product will be limiting reagent so in this case A gives lesser amount of product so A is the limiting reagent so now I can write the one that will produce lesser amount of product will be the limiting reagent so now in this case A is the limiting reagent so we can write A is the limiting reagent so one can basically find two three things here now what is that this means total A has been used so product from C is one mole now what is the mole of B that is left so somebody can ask what is the mole in the same problem mole of B left 
because b is not a limiting reagent so some of the b must have been left so you see when one mole of a reacts two mole of b reacts because one mole of a i have so two mole of b will, b will be react and i have initially three mole so three minus two mole of b that will be left so one mole of b will be left are you getting or not so simple you can do the one more exercise let us do i have 2a plus 3b and this gives you uh, 5c <laughs> and i have let us say 4 mole of a and 3 mole of b you have to decide which is the limiting reagent now if you use a as finding product you can find 2 mole gives 5 mole so 4 mole will give 20 mole of c are you getting or not so if i use a as limiting reagent a as reactant so if i find product using a we will find this this will give you 20 mole <laughs> now if i use b <coughs> sorry if i use b 3 mole of b gives 5 mole and i had 3 mole so this will give you 5 mole so which is giving lesser amount so b is giving lesser amount so product that is 5 mole if I use B so B is the limiting reagent are you getting or not so in this case B is the limiting reagent now product formed product C formed in this case C formed is equals to basically 5 mole you can find what is the mole of A that is left because A is not the limiting reagent so we can find mole of A left also mole of A left so you see initially I have 4 mole of A and how, what is the mole of A used when I use 3 mole of B I use 2 mole of A and I have 3 mole of B so basically I have used 2 mole of A so 2 mole of A has been used so I have 2 mole of A that is left are you getting we have another rule to find out the limiting reagent and that is slightly simple and what you have to do in that case is you have to divide the given mole by the coefficient so let us say do the same problem I have 2a plus 3b and this gives you 5c and I have 4 3 5 so I have 4 mole of a and 3 mole of b and I have 5 mole of c so what we do in this method is we divide the number of mole by coefficient so let us say we divide so we can write divide the mole of reactant with corresponding coefficient so in this case you have 4 and the coefficient is 2 so if you divide 4 by 2 we will have 2 so this is let us say rough work and now here also you divide you have 3 and the coefficient is 3 so 3 divided by 3 so you have 1 and whichever will give you the lesser number so this is the lesser number will be the limiting reagent so now in this case B is the limiting reagent whichever will give you the lesser number are you getting or not so the whichever will give you the lesser number is the limiting reagent
let us do one more problem using the same RDI I have a plus 3b and this gives you 5c and initially let us say I will take 2 mole of a and I take let us say 5 mole of b and you decide which is the limiting reagent so what is the limiting reagent we have to decide let us use the second idea that is the 2 divided by the coefficient 2 by 1 coefficient is 1 and this will give you 2 here now if you divide 5 and coefficient is 3 so this will give you a number that is lesser than 2 are you getting or not this is 1 point something 1 point 2 and 6 6 which is lesser than 2 so which is the limiting reagent so in this case B is the limiting reagent are you getting so in this case B is the limiting reagent so the same idea can be used to find out the limiting reagent you can solve the same problem using this idea also you can find out the product if you use A what is the number of mole of product 1 mole of A and gives 5 mole so 2 mole will give you 10 mole and 3 mole gives you 5 mole so 5 mole give you 3 mole gives you 5 mole so 5 mole give you 5 by 3 into 5 so which is a smaller this one is a smaller 25 by 3 so this is 25 by 3 so around 8 so this is a smaller number so B is the limiting reagent so whatever the method you use in this case B is the limiting reagent so if I summarize whatever we have said in this video we said there are two ways to decide limiting reagent when we have a problem of limiting reagent only if more than one reactant is given one method the first method is you decide the number of mole of product the one that will give you lesser mole of product will be the limiting reagent another method we said in this method what you do divide the reactant with corresponding coefficient you will get a number so the number that will come the least number corresponding to reactant that reactant will be the limiting reagent are you getting so this is all about the limiting reagent we will do some problems in some next video about the limiting reagent so this is the concept of limiting reagent